Baby, I just need one good one to stay. What's up? If you are new, my name is Shalom Black and welcome to my channel. So today we're going to just get right into the video. I am going to be reviewing House of Laboratory or House Lab. This is a makeup brand that just came out and it is actually Lady Gaga's makeup brand. I was actually shook when I found that, that Lady Gaga is coming out with a cosmetics line. I don't know why because Homegirl really did have some, you know, creative unique makeup looks in her videos she's been giving us looks for days i was so honored to go to the lunch party which was here in la i didn't know i was gonna get invited and i actually did not know that they were going to do a lunch party so they did you know they invite your girl i came out and of course we got to see lady gaga in her Lady Gaga ways. You know how Lady Gaga is. She looks so beautiful. The makeup on her was so stunning. I literally just kept looking at her face when she was on stage. And by the way, I made sure I was right in the front. Okay, I was right there. Um, but I'm a little bummed out. I didn't get a picture with her because I left a little early. So right after she got off the stage, we were not told that we were going to be able to meet her and like take pictures i don't know if it was like selected people i guess some people knew some people didn't know i didn't know so i was super hot my feet was hurting i decided to grab some food and yes they had grilled cheese at the lunch party which i was like yes give me give me give me give me i got some um and then after that i just left and went home because i was so hot and my feet hurt but it's okay. Hopefully next time I get to meet Lady Gaga. I really do want to meet her. I mean, she's iconic. Who wouldn't want to meet her? That's besides the point. Today we are going to be reviewing, swatching, and just giving our thought on the makeup line. They gave me everything that is in this collection. I guess the first drop, you would say. So yeah, and I actually ordered some. I was one of the people that pre-order as soon as they say here. You can pre-order and i think that was maybe like a month ago or two months ago yeah they had the pre-order for a while so they literally just shipped it out I actually have it i have the one that i purchased the packaging is just super sleek and just black but then on the bottom you can kind of tell what color the product is so here we have the lip gloss and the liquid eyeshadow so the liquid eyeshadow is just a bit shorter than the packaging for the lip gloss and as you guys can see the top is like triangle everything everything was pretty much um triangle you know what people always associate triangle with illuminati come from there's really nothing to say about the packaging besides it being like sleek and black and simple and just kind of minimalistic and on it is just say house laboratory which is so cute i love the way that she um decided to spell house so we're gonna go ahead and just get into the swatches of this product. The first one we're going to be swatching are the lip glosses. The lip glosses are retailing for $18 on the website. I think they do have it in bundles, so it might be cheaper if you get it in bundle with the lip liners and like the eyeshadow. But yeah, so $18 for the lip glosses and there is six shades. So let's go ahead and swatch. The first shade that I have here is called Corset and this one is like a peachy nude um shade and it's really pretty Ooh, i could definitely see myself rocking this um lip gloss right away the texture of the lip gloss is it's smooth but it's definitely on the thicker side of lip gloss if you like oily lip gloss this might not be it so it doesn't have like crazy shine but it does have like pigment so if you still want that color you'll definitely get it from the lip glosses the next color is called attitude and attitude it's like a brownish reddish lip gloss it kind of reminds me of like grandma lip gloss or lipstick and it has a lot of like glitter in it like gold glitter in it this is really pretty too but i do not see myself wearing that color sorry <laughs> the next color is called blaze and this is like a mauvey pink color Ooh, she is pretty yes Ooh, i feel like this one applies even more smoother and it might be a little bit um less thick than the other two that i just swatched and the next one is called entrance 
so like you enter in a room it's pretty much like a clear lip gloss but with iridescent pink glitter in it this is really pretty too wow she's cute she's cute yeah so if you're going for that really like clear look this might be it i actually really like that i don't know how that would look on my skin tone but i'm pretty sure with a lip liner like a brown lip liner that would look so fire um so the next color is called venus and venus is like a barbie pink color i guess i would say actually not barbie pink i feel like this is also giving me like peach uh, yeah, it's like the first shade, but this one has a bit of glitter in it um, The first one did not have any glitter. It's just sort of like a plain color and oh my god This might be My top favorite because it's the fall season. So I really love a dark lip So if I can wear a dark lipstick and make it a bit glossy or have a sheen this one right here is going to be it so this one is called scream and it's just a dark plum lip gloss Ooh, she's so cute i love it they are really pretty except for that um second shade that i really just don't care for but all the other shades i actually really like and i can't wait to you know include them in my makeup looks let's go ahead and swatch the lip liners they do have six lip liners um and it is retail for 16 dollars but i actually have only five here i think i either lost one or i just never got six of it so which is fine let's just go ahead and swatch what we have so the first shade here is called meth so this is like a mauve um color I do not see using this as a lip liner because I think it's just going to make me look ashy. So, um, but I would definitely use it as like something in the center um, of my lips because this lip liners are actually very smooth. So if you want to just wear the lip liners by itself, you can do that so you get that semi um, matte look. Um, but for me, this color definitely not for lining the lips. Next shade is called In Pointed, and this is basically a nude lip liner. This is really pretty. Again, I cannot use this as a lip liner, but I could definitely use it as a lipstick, so more so on the center of the lips, and then um, put maybe a lip gloss. So I line my lips with my everyday brown lip liner from MAC, and then put this on the center it would really be pretty because i do have lipsticks this color but you know you just got to make it work for your skin tone and your undertone so the next one is called rules and rules is like i don't know how to explain this color it's kind of like mauve but like I don't fucking know how to explain this color. Sorry, guys. Like, I'm the worst YouTuber. The color that I do see myself using as a lip liner is called Slayer. And this is basically the dark um, purple or dark red color that would go perfectly good with the lip gloss that is called Scream. Those two together. It's a done deal. I might actually use it today. Last lip liner that I have here is called Drag. And this is basically a purple lip liner, but more so on the cooler tone. Um, oof. I don't know if I would use this as a lip liner too. Um, and I'm just going by what I personally like. For someone or someone that's lighter than me, that might work for them. But I do not think um, most of these lip liners are going to work for my skin tone as lip liners but they could definitely be used for something else but nevertheless the lip liners are so creamy are so soft it's not the hard lip liners that you guys might be used to so um, if you do not mind a softer um, glide on lip liners then this might be for you honey so they also have six um liquid eyeshadows i don't know why everything is six six like we literally have like six lip liners, six lip gloss, and six liquid eyeshadow. Six, six, six. <laughs> Let's go ahead and swatch this babies. Okay, so the first shade here that I'm going to be swatching is called Chained 
ballerina and this right here is basically a gun metal oh my gosh the way that this swatches <gasps> they literally took liquid eyeshadow literally literally liquid eyeshadow this is so pretty now i don't know how long it takes to like dry because it does come out a lot so if you're going to do this make sure you kind of wiped the brush a little down just so um you don't have a lot of product i mean when do we ever complain about having a lot of product but this is definitely liquid i've never seen any liquid eyeshadow that is that liquidy and then we have dynasty dynasty is this beautiful emerald green color but this actually has like golden um golden i guess dust or golden glitter i don't know if it's glitter and so the next one is aphrodite and this one is more so of you know your subtle um soft kind of like a soft pink or something very neutral if you're going for that really neutral look then that would be the color for you i think it's pretty it's not that pretty it's pretty but it's just not that pretty like she's just not that girl yet you know like she's cute but she's not the girl but anyway so next color is called biker and this one is like the first color but it's just a bit more on the silver side i still feel like i would give this like a gunmetal look so if you put a black eyeshadow on the bottom and put this on top it's gonna look just like the first one um it's really pretty too so the next color we have here is called rose bitch yo i know youtube is going to try to demonetize my video but i didn't say that word the lady gaga in me said the word okay but um this shade right here is basically like a rose gold shade this is really pretty for some reason i know for sure jackie Ina might like this shade it's really pretty it does have more of like a pink i mean purple undertone in that if that is even an undertone i'm a terrible youtuber i give up i cannot describe colors for shit you know what okay the next or the last color here i feel like this is like literally liquid gold i just want to put it all over my face and body oh my god what is this color called <gasps> what is it called I can't see. No, literally, guys, I can't see. Oh, this is called Legend. <gasps> legend is definitely a legend. Oh, oh! I need to have a bath in this Legend color. This is so pretty. Oh my gosh. What have you done, Lady Gaga? What have you done, baby? trying to kill us take it easy on me mother i actually have two more items to show you guys so this is called the face lace so it's basically i think like stickers for the face Ooh, it's actually texture look at that that's really pretty and you just put it on and you just put it on well that's cool that's pretty dope isn't it and then the next one right here is also called face lace so let's see what this is i think this is the one that looks like eyeliners so you can stick them on Ooh, guys look at that it's literally basically like the outer part of the eyeliner so you can put that on the outer part um and then just go ahead and line the rest of your eyes if you are lazy or you just don't really know how to do it this is going to i guess help guide you through um doing eyeliners that's really cool you guys know i have to use legend on my eyes okay let me just wipe it a little because you're coming a little too strong for me boo but maybe i just need to show you guys how this comes on the lid if you just go straight on gold can you imagine i just want to like it i don't know what i'm doing with my eyes today guys so we're just going in give them gold and walk away 
Ooh, child, things are gonna get easier. Do you see what I mean when I say it's super easy to use liquid eyeshadow? Like literally, you don't have to put 20 shades of eyeshadow all over your lid. You just go ahead and slap a liquid eyeshadow on your lid and you are done. I didn't talk about the eyeliner, so I'm just gonna go ahead and add the eyeliner into my makeup. This is super dark. <laughs> Why did I do that? Why did I just put the eyeliner and then put the eyeshadow on top? As you guys can see, this side of the eyeliner looks wonky than this. I like this side, but I pretty much like this whole side of my face. This one just never works out. So let's go ahead and clean the rest of this powder off our face and come back. Should I put this on? I kind of want to put it on. I'm going to put it right here. Right here. I'm also adding the bottom one, because why not, right? Don't I look like Mike Tyson? Oh, I look like Mike Tyson, oh my gosh. Oh my God. Maybe I should be Mike Tyson for Halloween this year, guys. That's what I should do. Yeah, this one is not gluing very well. I don't know if I'm supposed to add like more glue. It's not gluing right here either. So just know if you do get this, you might have to like either get something to glue it down or just use lash glue, honestly. So for the lips, of course, I'm going to go in with the Slayer lip liner, which is the one I told you guys I like. And that actually looks like it would do something for me. And then I'm going to pop on the Scream lip gloss. I did what I had to do with what I have and I feel good about it. Honestly, guys, I have to say the liquid eyeshadows have exceeded my expectation. I did not expect it to be this Banging. I don't know how the camera is taking this in, but in person, guys, I have a mirror in front of me, and I would just say this is about to be my new thing. I'm actually about to travel um, real soon, so I'm going to be taking this liquid eyeshadow because they make my job just super easy, but still very fierce. The lips, I mean, the lip gloss. I really do like, I know they do not have that crazy oily um, shine, but they still do have a shine. And also this lip gloss is going to last you longer because lip gloss do intend to come off really fast. I mean, either way, it's going to rub off, but I feel like this, it's like a thicker consistency, so it's going to last longer. Um, the lip liners are amazing. Unfortunately, the sh all the shades that they have do not work very well um as lip liners for my skin tone i'm not crazy about the eyeliner but i think it's pretty good and it's super matte one thing i noticed about the eyeshadow though so if you do touch it it's going to kind of come off just slightly not a lot but it does um come off so it doesn't like but it's like dry into like dust that's what it looks like not like it dries down it dries down without looking cracky thank you so much for watching this video go ahead and let me know what you think about the makeup that i created and also if i look like mike tyson because i think i do like with this bald head and i look like mike tyson and yes i would take it as a compliment <laughs> Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Remember to always be your own kind of beautiful, and I will see you on the next one. Bye. Ten. Ten. Eight.